Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be opening up here two different products. One for Magic, one for Yu-Gi-Oh. I just simply bought these at the same time and I figured I may as well just open them up in the same video given that there's really not too much in each one individually. So to do it all together like this, uh, why not, right? But with that being said, both of these have definitely been uh, really eye-catching to me. Uh, Commander Collection Black just has a lot of the key featured cards for Commander itself. And although this product isn't necessarily for everyone, I do think that if you are starting out in the game itself, it is definitely uh, necessary to get essential staples and uh, a lot of some really good cards actually printed in this particular set here. So you could definitely do really well with the cards in here in commander format, given that you only need one copy of those cards. But at the same time, if you've never actually owned those cards before, this is exactly where you can get it. On the other hand, Magnificent Mavens is one of the greatest sets of 2022, honestly. It has given us so many great reprints, but also amazing new support as well with uh, cards that are supporting a lot of the older decks. And that definitely makes it a really amazing set to actually buy no matter what. Considering the fact that you can also get one out of the four potential uh, sleeves in terms of their artwork is also just a really nice feature as well makes it really easy just want to buy multiple of these here as well and the boxes are also just really well designed uh, just to store up your cards it's really small it's really compact it's also just really portable as well so with that being said let's open up these two of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well if you enjoyed. Uh, but with that being said, let's get started. So, I'm going to begin with uh, Magic here. And I'm going to open up the Commander Collection Black. So, this here will definitely be uh, really fun, very interesting. Because it is one of those more unique products uh, based on what it actually has to offer. So, let's see. Alright, so all we do is actually we just open it up like that. Definitely really nice, uh, really simplistic design on the box as well. I uh, can't really see it being used for anything else. Uh, it does seem like stuff has moved around, but we can just uh, take that out there. So that looks like just a bunch of uh, empty packaging. And over here we have our cards. So. This seems to be, again, just more packaging, but that's okay. Let's take a look and see what cards we actually got in this particular one here. So we're just going to focus up. So we have our Liliana, Heretical Healer. We have our Ghoul Caller Gissa. We have Ophiomancer. We have our Phyrexian Arena. We have Reanimate, which is definitely a fantastic card as a reprint. Toxic Deluge, also a really good card as well. We have Soul Ring, pretty much an essential card. We have Command Tower, again, another really important card. And we have a Snake Token, which is really interesting as well. Uh, so that's essentially what we get for Commander Collection Black. Now, I don't know if you guys already noticed, but this was a pretty pricey set. Uh, it wasn't particularly cheap. So the cards in here, you have to really weigh out whether or not it's actually worthwhile and worth the actual $64. I mean, that's a lot of money for just a few cards over here, but at least for me, I think it's worth it uh, just because I don't have any of these cards anyway, uh, with the exception of maybe Command Tower or Sol Ring, but even then to get alternate artworks for them, it's definitely a really nice feature that's been added on to this uh, to make it a little bit more unique. But with that being said, that was the Commander Collection Black. So let's set that aside and now let's move back on to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, which we have Magnificent Mavens over here. So simply just going to cut open the tape here and we can actually open it up and see uh, what comes in this particular one. So... Right here we have our sleeve. Looks like we have uh, Sky Striker Ace Kagari here. Very nice. In the alternate art form as well. So that's definitely fantastic. But 
I'm gonna set that aside. It's really nice that we get 70 sleeves. Now, keep in mind these are uh, art sleeves, and when it comes to art sleeves, I do recommend you buy over sleeves as well, because it does kind of peel off at the end, at least um, after extensive use. So that's something to definitely keep in mind. But uh, with that being said, it's going to be exciting to uh, you know use them to sleeve up my cards or decks. So we should have four packs over here, and there's our four packs. So let's uh, open them up and see what we get. So starting off over here for our first pack, we have uh, oh wow, look at that! We're starting off here with our Sky Striker Ace token. So that's a fantastic start here. We have Ghost Meets Girl. A masterful Mayakashi Shironai Saga, which is a new support card for Mayakashis. Uh, Oni Bimaru Soul Sweeper, a nice rank 2. Nightmare Phoenix, just an essential staple really. And we have Sword Soul Blackout, which uh, Sword Soul is being uh, one of the top decks or the top archetypes to be used in the current formats. Uh, but let's move on and see what else we can get here. Uh, Sword Soul Emergence, so another Sword Soul support card. We have Change of Heart, which is really nice to actually have. Uh, of course, this one has been eroded. We have a Witchcrafter Jenny. We have uh, another Sword Soul Blackout. And we have a Sky Striker Ace Shizuku. So that's not too bad as well. But let's see what else we actually have here. So far, nothing in particular that's notable to me. I'm looking for very specific kind of cards. Actually, Triple Tactics Talent is a fantastic reprint, so I am actually looking to get three copies of these. Uh, that would be a really good thing to get, but uh, starting off here with one is fantastic, and look at that. We followed that off here with uh, Appaloosa as well. Another card I've actually been searching for, the original copy in Secret Rare was going for about $60 or $70 still, and it just hasn't dropped. It's really a pain and the only other print was in gold which I wasn't a fan of so to finally get it here uh, definitely fantastic I no longer have to go out and look for it we also have here instant fusion also a fantastic card uh, we have just a reprinted Mayakashi boss and we have here a Sky Striker Ace Kagari but that was definitely a fantastic pack I'd say these particular three cards were really good uh, instant fusion being used uh, I mean almost in any deck really uh, we have Appaloosa and triple tactics being uh, very key cards in the past several formats already I mean they're just so good so final pack let's see how we go in this particular one over here we start off with our Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon, a fantastic card for Blue Eyes, so I'm looking to build a Blue Eyes deck, so to get this card is definitely fantastic. We also have uh, Totally Awesome, which is definitely a great card to actually pull as well. I am playing Ice Barriers, and this is a card you'll definitely play in that particular deck. So, we also have uh, Nightmare Cerberus, a fantastic card to actually get as well. Nightmare Cerberus alongside the Nightmare Phoenix. I mean, both cards are really just great generic uh, staples. Or rather, just falls into the uh, Link Monster Toolkit. Uh, so that's really nice. We have here a Witchcrafter Creation, which is not too bad, but obviously it's really specific to Witchcrafters. And we end things off with a Secret Village of the Spellcasters. Not too bad of a finish, but uh, overall, I'd say uh, the Totally Awesome and the Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon are definitely the cards that I'm particularly interested in here. So yeah, that was pretty much the opening for today, just something really short, really simple. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this. Uh, I definitely want to get more of uh, the Magnificent Mavens, uh, not only for the sleeves, but also just for a lot more of the reprints here as well. Uh, but with that being said, definitely leave me your thoughts as to what you thought about these particular products, these particular openings. And with that being said, thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you again next time.